Hey everyone, it's Daniel Brother Barbaris. In this next video, we'll be doing our client and server deployments. So let's get started. First things first, we're going to restart everything to make sure it's nice and ready to deploy. So you're going to right click on your gateway, go to power, and restart guest. Okay. And we're going to wait for the logon screen. And I'll come back when that's ready. Okay, we're at the logon screen there. Let's go to DC01, right click, power, and restart guest again. And we're going to wait for that logon screen as well. Be right back. Okay, so now we're going to log into both of those machines. Control Alt Insert. And same thing with our gateway. few moments. Okay. Now on our DC01, what we're going to do is we're going to wait 90 seconds. Let's go here, right click start, run, paste that timeout. We'll come back in 90 seconds and then we'll restart MDT01. I just want to get a nice clean environment. I have four, three, two, one, and zero. All right. And now we're going to go to MDT01, right click. Power and restart guest here. I'll come back when the logon screen is ready. Okay, now we're going to log in here. And we're going to give that three minutes to load up its systems. So we should have timeout slash T180 no break in our drop down from previous. Just click OK. And we'll be back in three minutes. Five, four, three, two, one. There we are. And now we'll go here, start, run. Let's go to services.msc, which we should have in our drop down as well. And let's look at our services. We'll just, we've already uh, sorted them by automatic. So we'll just go down here, make sure all of them are running. We're not worried about software protection or Microsoft Edge. Everything's good. SQL seems to be running, Windows Deployment Services, and everything else. Now we have a nice, clean, ready environment to deploy. Okay, so let's go to our deployment workbench. I'm going to click here. All right. And I'm going to move this over to the left. I'm going to go to the monitoring tab, and we'll monitor our machine there when it's deploying. Then we're going to go to Windows Server Update Services here. I'm going to double click the title bar to lower it down. I'm going to move this over to the right. And that way we can see when our machines are installing their updates and what percentage they're at. Okay. It's good there. Now I'm going to go to Domain Controller here. We'll go to Group Policy Management. We're going to set up a group policy management because since we'll be uh, installing a, a Windows 10 Pro machine alongside uh, enterprise machines, Windows 10 comes with what's called Windows Spotlight. And we want to, we want to disable that so that our um, start menu and our lock screen come up correctly instead of um, the way they have it. They have Windows Spotlight has news and other events on and tips and tricks and we want to get rid of that so let's go here to group policy we're going to use the mdt lab user settings so we'll right click on that okay we're going to go to user configuration policies administrative templates go down to windows components and we're going to go to cloud content okay and the first one we're going to disable here is configure window spotlight on lock screen I'm going to put disabled okay 
I'm going to say turn off all window spotlight features, which are right here. Enabled. Okay. Do not suggest third party content in Windows Spotlight. Here. We'll say enabled. Okay. And we can close this window and close group policy management. Now on all the VMs, what we're going to do is we're going to right click CMD. We'll do this on all three. And we're going to copy from 89 up to 87. And we'll do the domain controller first of the group policy update. There we go. Do the same here for these now that that one's done. And now we'll go back to group policy or we'll go back to our domain controller, open up Active Directory Users and Computers. I'm going to double click the title there just so I can go to certain area, go to lab and member service. And when we deploy our test server, it'll be here. And then when we deploy our Windows 10 and Windows 11 clients, they'll show up here. Okay. So right now we're looking at member service because the first one we're going to create is our test server, TS01. Okay. So let's make sure everything is good there and looking good. Okay, so we can go up to File, New Virtual Machine, Custom, Next. Next, I will install the operating system later. Next, we're going to choose Windows Server 2022. Next, we're going to type uh, TS01. Next, Secure Boot. Next, one processor, two cores. We'll leave it at 2 gigs of RAM, 2048. Next, NAT. Next, next. Create a new virtual disk. We're going to make this 100 gigs and store it as a single file. Next, next. Now we're going to go here to customize hardware. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do is click here. We're going to uncheck the connected power on. Go down here to Network Adapter, LAN Segment, choose our MDT Lab. Okay. Then we're going to go to Display and uncheck the Automatically Adjust User Interface Size. Click Close and Finish. Now we're going to add our TPM module. So right click, Settings, go to the Options tab. Under VMware Tools, we're going to click Update Automatically. And then Access Control will encrypt the drive. So you can copy our password here on line 153, paste, paste, encrypt, go to the hardware tab, add, trusted platform module, finish, and OK. Now we're going to move that to the lab folder, some of it right underneath MDT01. All right. Now we're going to create our workstation first workstation which will be our Windows 10 Pro so same thing file new virtual machine custom next I'll install the operating system later we're going to choose Windows 10 x64 next we're going to call this WS001 next secure boot next one processor two cores 4096 megabytes of RAM or 4 gigs. Next, NAT, recommended, recommended, create a new virtual disk. We're going to put 64 gigs, store as a single file. Next, next. Then we're going to go down to customize hardware. Okay, first things first, uncheck the CD connected power on. Network adapter, we're going to go to LAN segment, MDT lab. USB controller, disable share Bluetooth, and display, uncheck the automatically adjust user interface size. Close, finish. Okay, now we'll right click here, settings, go to the options tab, VMware tools, update automatically, access control, not encrypted, encrypt. We're going to copy our password, paste that here and here, control V. 
Encrypt, Hardware tab, Add, Trusted Platform Module, Finish, and OK. And now we're going to move that to the MDT folder as well. There we go. And now our Windows 11 or Workstation 002. So new virtual machine, custom, Workstation 17.5, install the operating system later. We're going to choose Windows 11 x64, next. We're going to call this WS002, next. It asks for our password. We're going to copy it from line 244, paste, control V, control V, next. Secure boot, next. One processor, two cores. It should automatically set to 4096 megs. Use network NAT, recommended, recommended. Create a new virtual disk. It should be automatically set to 64. Store as a single file, next, next. Customize hardware, we're right down here. Okay, so same thing. Click on the DVD, connect that power on. Network adapter for our LAN segment, USB, unclick share Bluetooth, display, automatically adjust, close, finish. Now we're here, right click, settings, go to the options tab, VMware tools, update automatically, and OK. And we'll move that final one right underneath. Okay. All right. And now we're going to power on TS01. So click on it and say power on this virtual machine. Click on the screen. Wait for it to come to the boot. Right now, press F12 and it will start booting. Okay. If you see a uh, window come out underneath it, you can press Control and Alt and close that click in the virtual screen to send keystrokes window, okay? Which normally shows up here, all right? So it's loading our WIM, and it's loading pretty quickly. I'm, I'm liking that speed, okay? So I'm gonna give that a few moments to come to the task sequence area, and I'll be back. Okay, and we're back, and our nice deployment uh, wallpaper loaded, our background there. We've got our task sequences that came up. So Client Pro, Windows 10, Windows 11, Client Enterprise, 10 and 11, and Server, Data Center and Standard. So for our test server, we're going to actually do a Data Center server. And so we'll click here on that radio checkbox there. Next. Give that a moment. We'll type TS01 for the computer name. Next. We're not going to choose any of the applications for the server, but we'll do that for the workstations. Next. And away we go. As you can see, it's loading up. It's running our task sequence for server 2022 data center to an H2. It's got our MDT lab and our nice background. So um, it's going through its settings, inject drivers, install operating system, applying the image. So uh, what we'll do is we're going to let that go all the way. And once it's done, we'll log in as our enterprise admin. So go ahead and go have a cup of coffee or um, some tea and sit back and we'll be back in a little bit. I'll just check it in so you can see our updates are going here. If we go to our MDT server and we re refresh here, we can see our uh, task sequence there running. And you can see no errors, no warnings. Step 77 of 109. We're doing good there. Let's look at our updates. So you can see 95% are installed. It's still going along. If we go to our domain controller and we right click and refresh, you can see our server is there, and it's already Windows Server 2022 Data Center. The other two are standard, so it's coming along well, okay? And you can see it's now restarting, and uh, we'll come back when it's at the logon screen. Okay, and we're complete now, so let's log in with our ADM account. So Control-Alt-Insert, we're going to click Other User. 
and go ahead and sign in. There we are. Okay, give that a few moments. We're going to right click the start menu, click run, type CMD. I'm going to do a GP update force just to make sure everything is good and clean. You should see the BG info uh, pull down. You can see that there in the background. Right here. You see it says data center version. Good. Okay. And now we're going to do a restart just to make sure, like I said, that everything is. Oh, let me do that from a administrative. So CMD, Control Shift Enter, and shut down our T1. There we go. Let's wait for that to come to the logon screen, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So let's log in. Control Alt Insert. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to start up our terminal. We're going to move our Windows Security next to our networking on the taskbar, verify our BitLocker, and then we're going to set the IP address to be static so that uh, we can remove these three machines from our DHCP scope so that we can use them anytime we want with the right IP address. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go start, open up the terminal, let that open up, give that a moment to load. Okay, we're going to maximize it by double clicking the top here and we'll click it with the close and close. Now we'll go over here. We're going to move this down to where the networking is. Okay. We're going to open up File Explorer. We can see we have our dark theme. You can see, see Windows and you can see that BitLocker is enabled. Okay. Now we'll go here, right click, run, ncpa.cpl. Right click on Ethernet 0 properties. Internet Protocol version 4 properties. Use the following IP address 192, 168, 0, space 50. Tab, you'll see our subnet mask is filled in for us. Tab 192, 168, 0, space 1. And our preferred DNS is 192, 168, 0, 10. And then our secondary is 8.8.8.8 for our Google, click on Advanced, go to the Wins tab, and disable NetBIOS over TCP IP. OK, OK, and close. We can close this. All right. Now we're going to install the VMware tools. So right click on TS01, we can install VMware tools. We can close this window here. We're going to click Browse to the D drive. And set up 64. Don't worry about autoplay. Give that a moment. We'll see a blink on the taskbar a few times. There it goes. One, two, three. Click. Next. Next. Install. All right. And give that a moment. There's our video driver. And finish. Yes. Okay, we'll come back when the logon screen is on. Okay, we're back and there's our login screen. So control alt insert. Let's log back in. We should have our VMware tools, our group policies pulled down, and it should all be good. So, there we go. We logged in. We'll wait for our um, Windows Security to load up there. There it goes. And oh, we're all good. So let's go to MDT01. And we're going to right-click here and click Refresh. And you can see 100% complete. If you double-click on that, you should see we have zero errors, zero warnings, and we're good. Okay. Now what we can do is we can look... We're going to browse to our deployment share 
and go to our recovery keys and verify that our text file is there. So double click on it. You can see our recovery password is stored there. Now this is a good way to give a recovery key to your uh, security guys, your isos or isms, and they can store those in a Bosler or a safe or a folder that they need to, and then you can print those out for them as well. Okay, and of course it's stored in Active Directory as well, so no worries there. You can also go here to the deployment share, go to logs, and you can see our TS01, and all of the logs are stored there for the deployment. Okay, so if we had any errors or any uh, warnings, we could go through those logs and find out if you know, there's anything we need to check out. Okay, good. Let's go to update services. Click refresh, and as you can see, TS01 is at 100% and completely green. So we verify that. Now let's go up here to DC01, refresh, and you can see our TS01, right? And what we can do is we can right click on that properties, and we're going to change this to test server for the description. Okay, we're going to go up to the BitLocker tab and verify our password is stored there as well. There it is. Click OK, and there we are. So now we're going to go on to our workstation 001. So let's click here, start, and wait for that to come up. And as soon as you see it, you can press F12. There we go. Press F12, and it starts loading. Okay. Loads pretty quickly, which is great. If it's not loading quickly for you, like I said, you can change your TFTP block size for your network, and it could uh, could improve. Okay, so I'm going to come back when we're at our task sequence. All right, I'll see you then. Okay, and we're at our login screen. So here we are. So, client pro, we're going to do Windows 10 Pro, and then for workstation 002, we're going to do Enterprise 11. And that way we have a nice uh, uh, difference, right? So we have all of these are uh, server standard. We want to have one server data center. We want to have a pro and we want to have an enterprise. Okay. So Windows 10 Pro. Good. Next. Workstation 001. Next, we're going to select both 7-Zip and Notepad++. Next, and away we go. Okay. As you can see, it's doing its formatting. If we go over here and we right-click Refresh, you can see it started its run. Okay. You can expand this a little bit so you can see. All right. And it shows you what it's doing right now. Refresh, install operating system, and away it's going. So we'll come back when that's uh, at its logon screen as well. And I'll see you then. And this one's coming along well. So you can see it's installing updates. Let's go to MDT01. Right click refresh, running. Zero, zero so far, 75 of 108. Refresh here, you can see. 93% installed for its updates. Let's go to DC01, go to Clients, re refresh here, and there's Workstation 001. And it's coming along. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, and we're back with this one. So we're going to log in. Here we go. All right. come back when that's at the uh, actual desktop. Okay, that didn't take too long. Okay, so we right click start run FCMD GP update force. 
Let's pull down our group policy. And let's restart. And I'll come back when we're about to log back in again. There we are. Now we'll go to MDT01. Okay, we're going to right click here, click refresh. You can see WS001 complete. Zero errors, zero warnings, 108 out of 108. Go over here, refresh, WS001, 100%, all green. DC01, right click, refresh. Okay, and we're good there. We're going to click properties, description. We'll call this client. Okay, and go back to MDT01. We're going to open up our deployment share. And we're going to look in the recovery keys. And you can see WS001 there. There we are, our key. We'll go into the deployment share logs folder. There's WS001 and our logs. All that's good. DC01. What we can do is we can right click properties and look at the BitLocker recovery. There's our recovery password in AD. All right. And we're getting to our Windows 11 machine. So this one will be Windows 11 Enterprise. So let's click power this on. Click here. And Wait a few moments and press F12 now. There we go. Now, like I said, if you see a little pop-up, you can press Control and Alt, close that pop-up. You should be good to go. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until our task sequence comes up. And I'll come back when that's ready. Okay, and we're back. And here we are. Windows 11 Enterprise, 64-bit, 23H2, next. And we're going to call this WS002, next. I'm going to choose both 7-zip and Notepad++, next. And away we go. You see Windows 11 Enterprise is running. Okay. There we are. Preparing its partitions. We can actually go here to MDT01, click refresh, and we'll see. It's running now. Okay. Say refresh. There it goes. Install operating system. Okay. And I'll be back when that's at the logon screen. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, and we're back. And our Windows 11 machine is ready to log into. Control Alt Insert. We're going to go to other user, log in with our ADM account. Okay. Give that a few moments. We can go up here while that's doing that. Right click, refresh, WS002. You can see zero errors, zero warnings. Let's go over here to our update. Refresh. There's WS002, 100%. Let's go to DC01. Refresh here. And we can right click and in description, type client. Let's make sure our BitLocker recovery password is there. That's good. In MDT01, we're going to go to our deployment share. We'll go to our logs. And you'll see our log files are here. And let's go to our recovery keys. And there are our recovery key. Perfect. Okay. Looks like everything is good to go. Here we are. Let's right click on start. Run. CMD. GP update force. Should see a few changes here. There it goes. Almost immediately. Okay. Windows 11 Enterprise. Okay, there we 
go. And I'm going to do a restart. So there we go. Okay. And we'll come back when it's at the logon screen. Okay, we're back. Let's log in. start all apps we'll go down to terminal still loading things that's fine there it is click let that load up there we go I'm gonna double click the top here I'm gonna close this wait until it shows up and there we are Okay, we can close that, go down here, grab our security, put that next to our network, and then we're going to verify BitLocker on our drive. So if we click here, you can see the lock. There we are. So let's go to right click on start, run, ncpa.cpl. We're going to change our IP address, so right click. Properties. Oh, <laughs> it just loaded its. Uh, there we go. Properties. It loaded uh, VMware tools at the exact moment. So, I'm gonna, so flash the screen. <laughs> there we go. 52, 192.168.0.1. Preferred DNS, 192.168.0.10. And 8.8.8.8. Advanced. Wins. Disable that BIOS. We're good there. We can close this. Okay. And let's install our VMware tools. So right click, install VMware tools. You can close this window. Open up the file explorer. Go to D. Close autoplay. And double click setup exe. You can see our dark mode's all good. Go. Next, next, install. Okay. So far, everything's looking really good. We've already checked all of these and our bit locker and everything. So, don't have to worry about that. There's our video driver. Finish. Yes. And I'll come back when we're going to log in. Okay. Okay, we're back. Let's log back in. You can tell our VMware tools is installed by the graphics there. Okay. Now I'm going to go to DC01. Okay, I'm going to close Active Directory Users and Computers. I'm going to go to DHCP, start DHCP, right down here, just so you well. Expand DC01, IPv4, version 4. Okay, we're going to click, then right click our scope. Okay, and we're going to click Properties. And we're going to change our site IP address to 53. Click OK. Close DHCP. We already closed Active Directory Users and Computers. We're going to go to MDT01. Close Deployment Workbench and Update Services. And Profit. <laughs> so, everything seems to have come out well. We've got uh, our nice machines all set up, ready to go. We can check uh, if you'd like control and go to large icons and we can go to programs and features and we can see our 7-zip Microsoft Edge R2 Visual Studio Notepad++ PowerShell we're all good okay and of course BG info shows correctly 
here's our Windows 10 machine, which went into probably hibernation. Uh, you can go in and set the power. So I'm going to shut these down. So right click, shut down guest, shut down guest, and shut down guest. There we go. Okay. So you've now got an MDT lab all set up and ready to go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. And have a great weekend, everybody. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there.